The COVID-19 pandemic is taking its toll on cultural traditions. For South Dakota Urban Indian Health, they're still finding a way to connect. Kelloland's Max Sofer has the story. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Matt. Now, Anne-Marie Shante Damaris is a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. She moved to Sioux Falls from Rapid City in 2015 to pursue an education. But in that process, she was determined that her two daughters wouldn't lose one that's a lot closer to home. Today we're going to read Coyote and the Sky. At first glance, this could just seem like a colorful storybook. But to Anne-Marie Shante Demaris and her daughters, there's so much more than what's just on the page. I want them to know who they are, and I want them to know that they're part of a beautiful culture and heritage. Growing up, Damaris says gathering and sharing stories is a significant tradition in Native American culture. We would all gather and learn uh, like a lot of different morals and just different values for life. She's a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. She moved to Sioux Falls in 2015 to attend college. We're not living on the reservation right now, and I feel like it's really important to keep my kids in touch with who they are. When we hear these stories, it makes us um, happy makes us feel at home because awesome. we don't have a lot of relatives that much around. Through South Dakota Urban Indian Health, she's been able to create those connections. But since the pandemic began, cultural keeper Teresa Henry has had to pivot certain traditions to an online format. The books that I read always pertain to the culture. Henry reads a new book on Facebook Live once a week. The stories focus on teaching lessons, traditions, and values of the many different tribal cultures. We want to continue to teach resiliency to our people. We want to teach them how to live um, a healthy, positive, happy life, you know, without being fearful of things. When I get to hear the stories, it makes me feel happy and warm inside when I'm with my family and my own culture and one day be the ones who share what they've learned with the next generation. Generosity is one of our values. And um, when you can get to my age and still be able to give and to share things with the people so that it will help them, that's a big deal. Now, South Dakota Urban Indian Health will soon be focusing its efforts on virtual language programs. If you'd like to keep up or watch previous stories, there's a link under this one at kelloland.com.